Hey, good morning, everybody. It's BDL44 coming at you another video. All right, so I got some news for you, Orlando Magic fans. Um, Wendell Carter Jr. is going to be signing, or has already signed, a four-year, $50 million contract with your team in Orlando. Um, to be honest with you, it's, I know a lot of people are shaking their head, wondering why he got a four-year deal this early, um, when he's hasn't really shown that he could stay healthy throughout the season and impact winning just yet. But what I think people are looking at, what I think Orlando's looking at, is his progression from the last several years, how he's looked in their uniform. And uh, I think they're looking to just kind of solidify someone that they feel has a lot of upside for the cheap. So as to where this first year is going to be cheap for him, if he turns into what they believe he's going to be, uh, that last year is going to be very, very cheap for them. Uh, so for them as a team. So I think it works out if he continues on the trajectory he's going. He's a really good player. I know he's had some ups and downs with his development, but I can point out just about 90% of the league has had the same problem. Um, he was in a bad Chicago situation, I think, for himself. Didn't really have a setup man, point guard, to kind of make him look good. And his athleticism wasn't really there because he was constantly coming back from injury. But when he was healthy, he was a very productive player, at least from the statistical standpoint. He can pull down some boards and score. Um, you know, I, I've listened to Chicago fans say they had their different concerns, but like I said, early development. So as of right now, I think he's, he's, he's at a solid space in his career. He's healthy. He's playing. He had a pretty solid preseason for what I saw and, um, you know, so on and so forth. Like I said, it's not about the first couple years for Orlando. That's, that's, that's a risk for them. They're saying, you know what? I don't know that he's worth, what is it? $11 million these first two years, but. And we know where he's headed. And by the time we get to that last year, he's going to be asking for $20 million or $18 million a year as to which we will have him at this price. So I know what they're thinking. It works out. The only thing I have a concern about for them is um, the production of Mobamba. That's always been my thing with the Orlando Magic. I just feel like they haven't quite given him a chance to spread his wings by giving him that center position and having him compete with Wendell Carter Jr., who's pretty much a player at the same age, same timeline, timeline as him. I just think it, it's kind of tough, uh, but I understand because he's also had injury issues. He also had a, a rough time trying to develop, but he had a good uh, preseason. He also is somebody who should be able to uh, move forward and have a good trajectory long term. And I think, I think the Orlando Magic think it's less likely they're able to keep Mo Bamba because of his metrics, because of the fact that he can stretch the floor and... Um, you know, he's just, he's just a higher upside prospect than Wendell Carter. So if you can get Wendell Carter for the cheap, if you lose Mobamba, you have insurance. So I think they're they're projecting to lose Mobamba at some point. And they should because they haven't done right, right, right by him, in my opinion. They drafted him very early and keep putting centers around him. You know, they had Vucevic. They sent him out, and then they brought in Wendell Carter, and they paid Wendell Carter. So at this point, if I'm Mobamba, I'm not tripping because I haven't earned the right to be a starter. But once I get a chance to be a starter, I'm leaving Orlando, period, because they haven't put me in a position to be a starter, and I'm, I feel disrespected personally. BDF feels disrespected if his name was Mobamba because y'all ain't giving me an opportunity to start. I thought Vucevic was going to be my opportunity. I came in ready to go. I'm rebounding, blocking shots, hitting threes. Hey, give me my opportunity. I don't think that my skill set is far away. If I'm Mobamba, if I'm Mobamba, and I have the length that I have, one of the longest arm lengths ever recorded maybe second i thought it was first <clears throat> but i'm understanding that he wasn't first anymore i think someone since has been longer taco follow somebody but what i'm telling you is mo, mo bamba has some of the longest length in the league i could argue that that same length is why rudy gobert just made 207 million dollars so and, and rudy gobert can't shoot mo bamba definitely can so what i'm saying to you is if i'm mo bamba and i'm looking at my trajectory what i think i am i think i'm better than rudy gobert I think I'm better than Rudy Gobert. So if they don't think I'm, I have that type of upside, then I'm going to have to find someone who does. And that's, that's just how I look at it. If I'm Mo, he's a New York guy, I'm pretty sure he doesn't mind getting up out of Orlando. But for now, he'll play. And uh, I think there will be a better team because they have these centers in, in place. Uh, so that's, that's just what I see. Um, I don't know that Mo Bamba would have taken that contract. I don't know if he would have, if the Orlando Magic offered it to him. If I were the Orlando Magic sitting where I'm sitting, I probably would have tried to get that contract to Mo Bamba. But 
I would have offered him that a long time ago. Uh, I would offer him that last summer. You know what I mean? So I don't know that he would have taken it. I think his, like I said, his trajectory and the money he's set to make, if he becomes what he's supposed to become, is much more than what what Carter just made. So it is what it is, man. It is what it is. I think Orlando took a gamble. I don't know what their books look like. I don't know if they have everybody that they want to pay paid. They just picked up some very serious guys that they're going to have to pay in four years, three years. Suggs, I'm sure, is going to be somebody. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anthony, you're going to have to pay him. Okigi is probably going to turn into something. You're going to have to pay him. So they got a lot of young guys that they got to pay. You know, Orlando's not in a good spot as it pertains to uh, just, just being able to keep everybody long term. So getting a guy like Mike Wendell Carter on a discount early definitely helps with that so i definitely understand that i understand that so yeah orlando's trying to man they're trying to manage what they have you know a lot of teams in the nba right now have just had an influx of young talent that they did not have a part of their plans last year guys that came to them in the draft that they weren't expecting to get uh, and they got to maneuver their books accordingly so that they can have a way to sign these guys down the line or at least a path to to being able to maneuver a way to do so so that's what's happening that's exactly what's happening, guys. It's just you're going to see these little deals, these what I call investment deals in young players. Uh, Wendell got one. Um, we obviously seen THT get that as well. Guys that you believe are going to be dope by the end of that contract. So you just give it to them early and, and, and overpay for them now a little bit so that you can underpay for them later when it's time to, time to really give them money. So Orlando will be fine, I think. If they have to move that Wendell Carter contract, it ain't too crazy. Later on, right now, I don't think people would be too excited about it, but it's 50 million bucks. It's not crazy. Uh, four year deal, it's not crazy. He's a good center. So, all in all, I think it's a good contract. Uh, he just has to continue to play well. If he if he goes backwards in his production, it definitely will not be. I don't see that happening, though. Wendell's good. Um, so, that's what I got, man. Wendell Carter Jr., four year deal, $50 million, Orlando Magic. My name is BDL44. Thank y'all for watching. I'm out.